Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Throwing Jones. And his first look is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Jones. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. Off play action, Jones. Once again, he finds Slayton. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. We're scoreless after one. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw again. That ball caught by Campbell. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Let's do this. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton, a five-yard touchdown. And the Giants will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Garoppolo now, first down throw. That one's complete out to Michael Mayer. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Garoppolo's now this throw brought in here by Mayer. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. 
As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. To throw is Garoppolo. And it's complete. This is Brandon Bolden. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they may be content to take this 7-0 lead into the locker room. We'll see. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. So we come upon halftime here with the visiting Giants out on top. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. To the right side, here's Mayer. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now, He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Garoppolo. He gets this to Devontae Adams. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up third and one. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. To throw is Garoppolo. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They go with Jacobs. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Able to connect with Jacobs. And that won't help much. Only a yard on first down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. They'll come up now, second and nine. 
Garoppolo to throw. Complete here to the right to Bolden. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Here comes second down. Usually see those guys out wide get called for holding on running plays here, passing play. Yeah, sometimes when you get this quick screen, bubble screen, anything where they're having to block for their fellow receiver, usually at the point of attack, and this time he got caught. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Ah, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Now Garoppolo. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Well, you were at the point where you had to take the shot no matter the down. Now it's fourth down coming up, but that may turn out to be irrelevant with how little time is remaining. One final try now for Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.